Hello everyone, today we are going to implement this video playing mechanism. Now as you can see here, when I step on this red button, it starts playing this video in the screen and if I leave, it stops or so pause, resume and pause. So this simple system, this is what we are going to set up today. And before we get started, I'd like to quickly remind you, you can download any project files that I have done any that I have done in my channel in the Patreon page. Once you become a member, you can download anything without a limit. And let's get back to the tutorial. Okay, so this is the default third person project. So first, you need to create a folder called movies and you need to copy the video file that you want to play into this folder which exists inside the content folder the reason is if you make a reference to some video outside the content folder it will not be packaged with the for with the project when you package the game now drag and drop this copied file into Unreal. Now here we have a reference. Now if you open this, you can see file path as dot slash movies. So this is a local path, a relative path from the project root. So because of that, uh, from the project content folder. So because of that, it's it will be it will reside within the project. So you wouldn't have any problem. When you package the project okay and uh, now to play the video let me just add the plane here and i'll make it 1.6 by 0.9 so it's a uh, 16 to 9 ratio and you need to create a media player video output enable this video output media texture asset I'll just call it media player yeah that's fine and here you get a texture called media player video if you open this now we will see this blank black and if you double click it will play this video so I paused it because it's too loud mm. but this is the video and if you drag and drop this uh, med media player video media texture into this plane it will automatically create a material now make it more clear I'll add the MECU and I'll make this unlit so that it would look more like a screen a display oh, it has to rotate now as you can see it's not playing unless I play the video here like this here see I have to play it here in order to see the video now this will not automatically play inside the game if you play the game it's it just will have this last video that we had so what we can do is let me make this a bit bigger so what we can do is we have to start playing this uh, video inside the game through the code we have to trigger it so for that either i can do that in the level blueprint or let's create a blueprint out of this plane like this convert selection to blueprint class i'll choose harvest component and use actor as the parent and i'll call it okay this doesn't look right. Let's add a scene component uh, root and make it the root. Oh, where is it? Okay. 
now inside here I'll make this this way so okay now uh, this is correct now inside the blueprint in the begin play we can trigger plane of the video for that we need a reference to this media player so I'll create a new variable media player in the type of media player media player object reference and I'll assign the media player and in the begin play I can play or oh, wait if we or oh, it's better use open source and then give this world engine this video source now when I play the game it will automatically play the video okay now the next thing is we don't hear any audio for that media sound we can attach a media sound component and media player we can assign the same media player that we assigned here uh, maybe rather than at assigning it here it would be better to assign it in the construction script so that whenever we change this media player reference it will be uh, updated in the media sound as well set. set media player with this one now when I play now here you see you hear the sound but even if I go far away from the display you still hear it that's because you don't have a have assigned any attenuation setting so let me just do this no well actually you have enabled this allow specialization as well otherwise the settings will not work now Here you hear the sound and if you go further away you see you stop hearing the sound so that's because of that attenuation okay so the next thing I want to do is add in a play button so let's do something like this here I'll add a cube like this and then on this collision let's add on component begin overlap and on component end overlap so for now I'm just gonna assume there are no other objects just the player so I will not do any specific check to if this is the player that is going to overlap I'll just assume it's going to be only the player and then on component begin overlap I'll get this media player and play and here I'll call pause all right now this is going to start playing anyway once we start but see it stops now if I don't want automatically play and only play when I go there we can do this open source with options 
and then here make options and play on open i'll disable it and i'll enable looping well it's you can use whatever the option you want so see now it's not playing automatically but if i go there sorry i haven't selected the video right now it's working the way i intended initially it's not playing on till after we go here now it plays okay finally let's make a material solid emissive so base color so this is just to show some difference in the button i promote this as a parameter emissive and keep it zero and the color would be well let's say green and i'll assign that color m solid msu to the play button mm -hmm. and here By default, I leave the color as maybe red, like this. And when I play, let me copy the color. When I play, I'll make it green. parameter to vector green base color and also set scalable parameter value on material and mission to one would also be enough but and duplicate this when we stop playing zero color should be whatever the color that we already have i guess some red screen and the video starts playing when i leave it becomes red it stops playing all right so that's actually all i wanted to do for today so thanks for watching as always updated project files will be available here for the download in patreon page link would be in the description below and see you in another episode goodbye